So let's commence with prayer A. The Lord is here. His spirit is with us. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. It is indeed right. It is our duty and our joy at all times and in all places to give you thanks and praise. Holy Father, Heavenly King, Almighty and Eternal God, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. For he is your living word. Through him you have created all things from the beginning and formed us in your own image. To you be glory and praise forever. Through him you have freed us from the slavery of sin, giving him to be born of a woman and to die upon the cross. You raised him from the dead and exalted him to your right hand on high. To you be glory and praise forever. Through him you have sent upon us your holy and life-giving spirit and made us a people for your own possession. To you be glory and praise forever. Therefore, with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, we proclaim your great and glorious name forever praising you and saying, Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Accept our praises, Heavenly Father, through your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. And as we follow his example and obey his command, grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit, that these gifts of bread and wine may be to us his body and his blood. Who in the same night that he was betrayed took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and he gave it to his disciples saying, take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. To you be glory and praise forever. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. To you be glory and praise forever. Therefore, Heavenly Father, we remember his offering of himself made once for all upon the cross. We proclaim his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension. We look for your com the coming of your kingdom. And with this bread and this cup, we make the memorial of Christ, your son, our Lord. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ has died, Christ is risen, and Christ will come again. Accept through him, our great high priest, this our sacrifice of thanks and praise. And as we eat and drink these holy gifts in the presence of your divine majesty, renew us by your spirit, inspire us with your love, and unite us in the body of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. To you be glory and praise forever. Through him and with him and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, with all who stand before you in earth and heaven, we worship you, Father Almighty, in songs of everlasting praise, blessing and honour and glory and power be yours forever and ever. Amen. And as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. And so we break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are all one body, because we all share in the one bread. So I invite you to draw near with faith, receive the body of our Lord Jesus Christ, which he gave for you, and his blood, which he shed for you. Eat and drink in remembrance that he died for you, and feed on him in your hearts by faith with thanksgiving the body of Christ that was given for us. And the blood of Christ that was shed for us. Let's say together, Almighty God, we thank you for feeding us with the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him we offer you, our souls and bodies, to be a living sacrifice. Send us out in the power of your Spirit to live and work to your praise and glory. Amen.